Hey, what's up YouTube? Dan the Fix-It Man. I've got another quick video here for you. I'm going to show you how I found a small EVAP leak in a 2004 Toyota Avalon. Now, I saw this video on YouTube. Actually, I saw a couple videos doing this exact same setup, and I thought I would try it as well. I have made other uh, smoke machines in the past. You know, they somewhat worked. But this is just a pickle jar with three holes drilled in the top, a large one here for the soldering iron. It's a $5 soldering iron from Harbor Freight just have it epoxied in there. And then this is the cap and the body or shell of a Bic pen cut down to fit into this lid. The reason the video suggests a Bic pen is you can put a bike pump on this side. Uh, I just grabbed a piece of hose right here and you can just blow through this. Now inside here is just a sock as a wick and some mineral oil or baby oil. And all you have to do is just blow on this end here And that's the kind of smoke that this is putting out. So I'm going to show you how I uh, hooked this up and the leak I ended up finding on this. So those are my codes, the P0442 and P0456. It's a very small leak. You know, I looked around here for any hoses being off or cracked and, and uh, didn't find anything. So I took the hose on the end of this smoke machine and put it on this side. Now I'm just blowing instead of using a bike pump, but you can see all the smoke coming from over here. And I'll get you down here closer, see if I can show you the leak that I found. It's, it's this hose right here, and you can see now this little crack. You know, after, after doing this for a little bit, that mineral oil vapor starts to build up, and you can see it's actually starting to turn kind of dark around that crack. But So I'm just going to give it a little bit more smoke and see if that shows up for you. So there's the leak. Pretty easy fix, obviously. Just uh, going to get a new piece of hose and throw it on there and should be good to go. So this leak was very small, so it would only show up pending every once in a while and then it, it wouldn't necessarily trigger it and then it would and the check engine light would come on after, you know, after a month or two. You know, and then sometimes I'd go check the gas cap and it would feel a little loose and the seal didn't look perfect, so I ended up replacing the gas cap. And about a month later, this came back again. So I really just wanted to show this quick and easy way to make this smoke tester, smoke machine. Google the videos. If I find it, I'll put a link in it. It's a, it's a great video. Um, so I'm not taking credit for the idea, of course. I will point out one thing I did slightly differently. And again, this is $5 soldering iron, obviously a, a pickle jar and a big pen and a couple pieces of hose. I'm just using 5 16 uh, just cheap fuel line. But on, this, on the soldering iron, this tail piece right here, uh, you can see I've got it all taped up. And you see this little orange right here? That's some RTV because this was actually leaking smoke out the end of the soldering iron. So I ended up uh, stuffing a bunch of RTV in there. And then after letting that cure for a day, I just wrapped it in tape to kind of protect it a little bit better. This didn't take long at all to make either. I mean, just three holes and then just epoxy that in and let the epoxy set up and then plug it in. And uh, you put a sock in there kind of acts as a wick. See, it's just an old cotton sock and uh, doesn't even take much of that mineral oil or baby oil. And I'm so happy I got that figured out. So we'll get that changed out and clear the codes and should be good to go. I almost bought, uh, you know, a, a smoke machine, a cheap one for over a hundred dollars on Amazon. I'm just glad I ended up doing it this way. It was super easy and uh, ended up finding that leak in no time. I hope you liked the video. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you don't mind. That does help me out. If I can, I'll get a link in the description to that uh, same video where I saw how to make this. Thanks so much for watching and good luck.